Hello and welcome to the OXM Wishlist. This week we're looking at GTA 5. First up, we want better socialising. All credit to Rockstar, the characters in GTA 4 felt more like real people than robotic, quest-giving automatons. The problem was they felt like needy, infuriating children, always trying to drag you off to a minigame when you had important drug deals to do. I liked Roman Bellic, but he's one of the most irritating sidekicks this generation, and my girlfriend kept nagging me for dates even after she was dead. In the game, I stress. Let's have a gentler touch in GTA 5, where we reap the benefits of socialising but aren't nagged about it all the time. So if you want to be a miserable, antisocial grump, you can do it, but you won't get as much help. Don't go for all out Mass Effect style sex scenes though, you know what happened last time. Next up, an 80s radio station. Ever since the low res, big hair release of GTA Vice City, an 80s sound has been an essential part of GTA experience. High speed police chases just feel wrong unless they're done to the sound of John Farnham. Something that Rockstar itself proved when it added Vice City FM to GTA 4 through the Gay Tony expansion. Let's get it in there day one this time, please. I also want to see better multiplayer. GTA 4 was Rockstar's first attempt at a multiplayer Grand Theft Auto game, and it showed. The modes were sound, including the excellent running battles of cops and crooks, but the lobby system was a nightmare in which you often spent more time arguing about the options than you did playing the game. Things got much better in Red Dead Redemption and Max Payne 3, so I'm expecting great things in GTA 5, and Rockstar has already confirmed that Max Payne 3's multiplayer gang system will carry over. It's a good start, but it needs to be folded into some strong, expandable modes. Cops and Crooks work great, but the online players quickly exhausted the limited gameplay options, so its return needs a bit more variety and ideally randomised objectives. Straight Racing, meanwhile, deteriorated into roadblocks and shootouts, which is a lot more fun than Forza, frankly, but it drags on a bit when you have to kill five other racers and steal a new car every hundred metres. Let's have some more Mad Max style racing modes that play to GTA's strengths. Finally, we want to have the ability to capture and share videos of what we do in the game. Now, I know this is awesome because Rockstar put it in the PC version of GTA 4, and the results were phenomenal. You could go back and watch your greatest moments from any viewpoint, including that of the short-lived pedestrians, and slap on any track from the soundtrack to boot. It's like being able to make one of those terrible French action films, only you don't have to bother creating any one-dimensional characters, you can just skip to a 20-minute car chase. So, that's what we want to see in GTA 5. If you think we've missed anything, be sure to let us know on Facebook, Twitter, or oxm.co.uk.